Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how to draw just such a ballerina on cookies with a voluminous skirt. Like, subscribe, enjoy watching. I transferred the image to the cookies in advance. I'll leave a link to the image in the description below the video. We start filling with distant elements, this is the girl's body, arms and legs. Pour carefully so as not to make the thin arms and legs of an elegant ballerina thick. Here I squeeze out the icing, as it were, a little from above, without lowering the nose of the cornet into it. Azing lies in a line. I control the thickness of the line by pressure on the cornet. If the part does not lie flat, we fix it with an awl or a toothpick. I fill the face of the ballerina. Here, as usual, I dip the nose of the cornet into the icing and slowly squeeze it out and immediately distribute it within the element. Adjacent elements of the base, when the adjacent icing has already seized. I have icing in the consistency of 20 seconds. See my video about icing for more details. In the description there will be a link to a playlist where you can find a video with a recipe for cookies and icing, about the consistency of icing, how to transfer a picture to cookies, etc. I use dyes from Cryomo and Top Decor. I fill my hair with white icing, and then paint it with a brush. I send cookies to dry. The icing must dry completely. Next, you need to knead the icing for the skirt and flower. To do this, I first painted the base icing turquoise. And then, to make it thicker, I added a little powder and mixed well. The consistency should be thick, but soft and elastic. Those, it is easy to mix, but it keeps its shape. Place the icing in a pastry bag. Next. I placed a nozzle for medium-sized flowers in the cornet, it is called petal. At the cornet with icing, I cut off the tip wide and put it in the same cornet with a nozzle. The nozzle must be turned towards you with the wide side of the cut and in this way, as shown in the video, we make a skirt. You can practice on paper first. We start the skirt from the bottom tier. We apply the nozzle to the cookie in the place where the skirt begins and, squeezing out the icing, we make such petals. You can outline the skirt itself with a pencil to make it easier. If you get torn edges, like I got because of a cheap nozzle, then this can be corrected with a clean, damp brush. Carefully correct the edges of the petals, remove unnecessary protruding parts. This must be done quickly, because such a thick icing dries quickly. Next, in the same way we make the second tier of the skirt. We apply the nozzle with the wide side and squeeze out the icing, forming petals. Outside the irregularities, we correct with a clean, damp brush and an all. Next, for the flower on the hair, I will use a small nozzle closed star. In the same way, I put the nozzle in the cornet and in it I also place the cornet with icing of the same thick consistency as for the skirt. To make a rose, you need to place the nozzle in the place where the flower will be and squeezing out the icing, make a circular motion around this point. All irregularities can be removed with a damp brush or all. On paper, it turns out badly because she is very mobile. But you can practice on paper by securing it with something. 
With green icing I make more leaves for roses. You can see how to do this in my video about flowers. I'll leave the link in the description. Here is such a ballerina turned out. The icing is dry and can be painted. To begin with, with a pencil, I draw lips and an eyelash line. I make blush with pink dye with a slightly damp brush. I dye my hair with a caramel colored dye with the addition of yellow. I tint the body and face a little with the same caramel colored dye. I tint the dress and point shoes with a turquoise dye. I draw strands with the same caramel color dye. I paint lips with pink dye. With black dye and a thin brush, I draw arrows in front of the eyes of all the contours of the cookies, as well as eyelashes. The eyelashes turned out a little thicker than I needed, so I dilute them with a little white dye and tint my eyelids with it a little. Here is such a wonderful, graceful ballerina I got. I love a great option, for example, for a cookie topper. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram and other social networks. Subscribe to my channel, there is much more to come. All the best.